Yo, Guan. hope you're having a great day. Now, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to fade out audio in Studio One. Now, this is super, super important and super easy to do. Now, you can do this to fade out some vocal audio in between slices or to fade out your beat at the end of your track and in a variety of different situations. So stick through to the end because this is an essential tool for your toolbox. Now, if you don't know who I am, I'm Jay Carter Ray from jaycarterray.com teaching you how to be better at music, online business and online marketing. This is the number one spot for musicians and creatives that don't want to be starving artists. So if that sounds like you, click on that subscribe button, check out the rest of the content on the channel because you will love it here guaranteed now let's get into it first of all my question of the day is what are you fading out are you fading out vocals are you fading out a beat let me know in that comment section down below but let's get straight into this now as you can see these two clips have some fading going on don't they so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna save this because i might do something that might mess stuff up okay but something very, very easy and simple to do is to fade the end of a vocal take. And in order to do this, you basically wanna click on the vocal, then you wanna left click up here where you see this triangle thing and just move that over there and that will fade it out. Now, in order to change the fade, you can use this right here, this square. So you can make it quicker or you can make it take longer or you can just leave it in the middle, which is probably good enough. And something else is if you've got two clips that are next to each other and you start fading one, it will fade the clip next to it as well. So it makes it very intuitive to fade between two different vocal takes. I pretty much use this fading for vocals. Like I use it for vocals a lot because when you finish a vocal take there's usually some artifacts after the take like maybe you click in the space bar to stop the take or just make a noise and stuff like that and especially if you're trying to blend between two takes like i do have an example over here where i blended between two takes and actually worked out pretty well where's the chorus surround hair so we've got a blend like right here a blend between two takes here Okay, this blends between two takes, all right? These are two completely different takes, but I've blended it to where it sounds like it's one. So let me play this back. So you wouldn't even know that these are two different takes because I've blended this quite well. Now, something you may need to think about is when you have two tracks together, or next to each other and they're both linked in their fading you can't actually change one fade and have it independent of the other one let me see if these are together yeah so in order to do that and have it independent you'll need to actually cut one of these so that it's not touching another track like this and then you'll need to fade that in and then you can just bring that over there like so. But because there's like nothing going on here, this really doesn't matter. We could bring that all the way over there and that'll be perfectly fine. So that's that. That's how to fade in and out and just fade all that sort of stuff. You can do this at the beginning of tracks and at the end of tracks, I believe I already showed you that. But let's zoom into this ad lib over here and let's actually do the beginning of this track. So as you can see, there's a little fade over here. Well, if you fade it some more, we can fade that beginning in even more. But because this has now faded that, we're just gonna get rid of that right there and have, have a little fade, why not? But fade this in even more. So that's how that's done, fade in, fade out. You can do the same with the beat. This doesn't need a fade because it's already faded out. But if we come in here, we zoom in and we move this over, we can fade out the beat nice times okay <laughs> that's how you fade in and fade out very very easy very very simple studio one makes this sort of stuff super super simple and easy to do that's why i recommend using studio one for all your recording purposes to be honest because it's just been so great for me and my song recording purposes something that 
you want to use with Studio One that's gonna help your recording purposes even more is my Spotify Ready Vocal Mixing Secrets template. Now, this can be used with Studio One and what it does is it sets up your vocals so they sound super clean and they're already half mixed before you even get to the mixing stage, okay? So, if that sounds interesting to you, and that sounds like something you want. You want to save time. You want to save the effort. You want to save all the stress from mixing or not save, but get rid of the stress from mixing. This template is for you. Just go to jcarterray.com forward slash vocal templates. The link is also in the description down below. And this is going to help you out a lot. This is what I use for every new song that I create. I just start with this. Then all I really need to do is set levels down the road or maybe add a different effect if I really, really want to. But generally, I just go with what's already set up here. Now, this will come with one <laughs> vocal mixing uh, or vocal recording track. The reason why there's two here is because I did create two for this specific song, but you can also do that in Studio One. And I'll make another video showing you exactly how to duplicate the settings from one track to another because i think that'll be very very interesting if you've got any questions or any other tutorials you want me to make please leave those in the comment section down below i'll see you in the next video where you'll learn more about music online business and online marketing peace out